been struggling to put things into these bins, but it's been uh, a lot of work. I took all the Roper Whitney tools that used to take up like a whole here and put them into round, square slots, weird stuff. Um, sorted the Roper Whitney stuff. These are all the PEMs. So this is all kind of one system. And then over here, I have lathe tools, drills and stuff, empty bins, um, bolts, nylocks, nuts, D's nuts, uh, washers, screws, bolts, screws and bolts, different things, paint, screws, drywalls, electrical stuff, taps. I got whole two drawers of taps. So, uh, greater than quarter inch, uh, number screws. So, uh, stuff that's, um, you know, like, uh, 1032 or 080 or et cetera, et cetera. <sighs> Cleaned up all these, got rid of these little trays. I may turn this into a Lego sorter. My kid got a new bike and let me just say, you know, I had one of these, I don't know, what are they, like a peg post? Chucked it up in the lathe, cut it down to size. It was really good to have. Uh, we might paint it. We might do some stuff and paint it. Uh, but one of the things I did that I really love having now kind of set up permanently is this cutter grinder. Cutter grinder. There's a little receptacle at the back for the light and the, the grinder motor. Um, and I keep the, the collets now just right up here. I've got a little shelf for them. So I got a, I, I've got a full set of these. This is, uh, there's a 16 set, uh, set number 1150 by Gordon. Uh, and then I got a quarter inch, uh, cause I bought the quarter inch first and then the set came along. Uh, and then I have this, uh, half inch for doing lathe tools. So I was doing some lathe tools and it's hard. Like it's one of the hardest things I've done. So I've got a couple different grinding wheels to, to, to try out. Um, coming. I've got uh, like a little three inch one, a four inch one, like a real cutoff one, one for cutting, like just for cutting. The belt slips on this, so I might uh, do uh, a new belt and, uh, and and see where it ends up. Uh, just because I'd been oiling it and cleaning it, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe I didn't clean in, uh, you know, the pulleys good enough. Whew, it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, uh, so far, I've done mostly lathe bits um, and uh, like high-speed steel stuff. And what I find is because this is indexed, when this collet goes down, it doesn't line up to any of these numbers. So one of the things uh, I can make is just another little indexing plate here that's at like, you know, 10 degree increments or something like that. Um, or do some real geometry and figure it out. Uh, because I, I can't index this differently. Uh, or, yeah, it's tricky because with the lathe tooling, it's not, it doesn't line up to, you know, four facets or something like that. It's some obscure geometry relative to that, um, to that square call it. Um, and, and I don't think there's any correlation to it. Um, because it's half inch stuff, like it's, it's a lot of material to take away sometimes. Um, and then the geometry I found was just like a, a real hit and miss. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play with that a little bit more. Um, one of the things I, I I don't need this motor starter here anymore. So I might put it on a like a foot switch. I've seen people put it on foot switches uh, because you're really, you know, you're going into it. You're lining. Uh, one of the things I keep here is just a like a, I'm using it as a parallel. So I put it across the face of the wheel, and then move the tool into into uh, alignment with that opposed to, uh, you know, just jamming it into the, 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 the diamond, the diamond. If you know something about diamond wheels, please reach out in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to, love to learn more. Post me a link.